another episode of Pilates Meets the Gym. Hi, Allie B. Laura London, how are you in the hot Miami weather? Oh my gosh, hot and rainy is Florida right now, let me tell you. I know it's really rainy in Oregon right now too, and it's funny because I keep telling Aria, any minute it's going to get really hot so we can go to the water park because she's so little that even at like 65 degrees out, when she's wet, she's just so cold. So oh That's yeah, freezing she, for me. So I know. know she, I know, especially <laughs> for you. I'm like, you know, pregnant, hot. I'm like, can we have the fans on? So. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know that we have some great questions, speaking of pregnancy yes. this week for Pilates Meets the Gym. Yes. We had some people writing in. If anyone who doesn't know, Allison is... Pregnant, due super pregnant. Quite soon. <laughs> when do we do Allie B? Um, July thirtieth is the big day, C section. So wow. So yeah, that uh, you know, I've been there, done that three times. So yeah. we have lots of information and and a wealth of knowledge on pregnancy and bodies and and how to put them all back together before, during, and after pregnancy. Yeah, definitely. And I think I got some great questions from people after our Mother's Day um, video because, you know, you can do so much work in the gym, but there's so many other ways like beauty care and, and skin care and internal care outside of the gym and outside of the Pilates studio. And so I think that's great. And funny enough, one of my first questions comes from Vanessa. I believe she's in Rochester. Um, and she asked me... Basically, whenever I get emails from people, and I don't know if this happens to you, Laura, but they start out with a basic question, and it ends up being like 10 to 15 other questions within a question. So I'm just going to take the first basic one, Vanessa, and she wrote in and said, Allie, what do you do for heartburn? I know you're vegan, and I know that you try and eat really clean. So it's funny. I didn't really have a lot of heartburn with Aria, but with this pregnancy, um, I did, and you know, Tums are technically vegan, but they've got all those dyes, they've got words you can't pronounce, they've got, you know, E4536 color A, you know, yes. which is like, I don't want my baby to have that kind of chemical. Yes. So I went to my um, local, I went to New Seasons, um, a local organ company, and they have this one called Digestive Ease. Mm hmm. And it's just a little bottle, but you just do about four drops in water, and um, it's Wish Garden Herbs. It's for pregnancy. It says pregnancy on there. Mm -hmm. And I really researched, like, in the aisles and on the internet, because there are some that say, you know, talk to your doctor, but this one is made just for pregnancy. And it is a soothing aid for heartburn, gas, indigestion, all of that. I and mean, then my issue just with this pregnancy, I drink a glass of water and I get heartburn. So this is my go-to. I think it was like under $7. Mm -hmm. And it works right away. Mm -hmm. It works right away. So so that was a great, that was a really good question. I know especially when you're doing fitness in the gym or, you know, and you're drinking lots of water and being pregnant, sometimes you get heartburn for no reason just in the middle of your workout. Mm -hmm. So if you even just put a little, uh, like four drops of this in your water bottle to mm -hmm. take to the studio, mm -hmm. you should be good to go. Awesome. Awesome. I, I use an essential oil actually called Digest Zen, very similar. And I inhale it and also rub it on the abdomen and that really helps with digestion. And another thing that's really great are digestive enzymes. You know, sometimes the body's not working efficiently to break down that food. And right. digestive enzymes can really help. Um, I actually did a video on it. I show two bowls of cooked oatmeal. And I put digestive enzymes on one. And I let them sit there for about 10, 15 minutes. And you will see how the digestive enzymes start to break down that oatmeal. And the other bowl of oatmeal is just sitting there rock solid still. So it's a great visual. So I wow. also suggest digestive enzymes, natural digestive enzymes for people who are having digestion issues. That's great. Yeah, and I know that in the past when I've um, taken enzymes, I've done like the papaya one before, but that's obviously not during pregnancy. I always say, you know, talk to your doctor about anything, but when you see natural products that are created for pregnancy, I think you're pretty safe that mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. So my next question came in, it was about two weeks after we did the last show, and it was talking about what can you do to tighten your skin up 
after pregnancy? And that is the question that all moms want to know. We all, of course, don't give birth looking like Victoria's Secret models that do. Some of us, um, you know, it takes us a couple more it takes us a longer period of time than three weeks to bounce back, so especially if you have surgery. So one thing that I've always had a go-to for, which everybody knows on the plan, is coconut oil, coconut oil, coconut oil. But one thing that I've been doing recently is mixing three oils just to kind of keep my skin nice and radiant on my stomach. Um, now, this is not something I have tried after the fact because with Aria, I just used coconut oil. And my stretch marks, um, I didn't have really bad ones, and they did go away. Mm -hmm. But um, grapeseed oil mm -hmm. and jojoba oil mixed together mm -hmm. with the coconut oil mm -hmm. has – I have really dry skin. And mm -hmm. so I think oftentimes for pregnant women – Again, if you're in the gym working out or if you're, you know, your hormones are all over the place and you, you know, you get sweaty and your skin gets dry, mixing those three oils together is a great way to do. And I know that you know a lot about oils in general. Mm -hmm. You have a great skin also, Laura. So I think that, you know, one thing is after your workouts, you know, shower off, stay damp in your skin and, and apply to those areas either during or after pregnancy that you're most concerned about. Right. What have you what have you found to be true with oils and skincare? Well, I'm, I love coconut oil. I use it just about every day on my body. One, because it does wonderful things. It hydrates the skin, and it it's not full of chemicals like your the lotions and potions that we find out there in most of the stores. Um, another thing that I always use is dry skin brushing, which yes. is really, really great because that's a question I almost get daily from yep. women. You know, women who have had babies, who haven't had babies. It's just such a big, what do I do with my skin? It's it's sagging, it's not snapping back like it used to. Right. So dry skin brushing is taking a natural bristle brush and doing in kind of a circular motion starting on the bottom of your feet and working all the way up. And I call it skin fitness. It's really one, helping to, to take exfoliate the skin. Number two, it's stimulating the lymph, that t moving the toxic fluid right under the layer of skin. And right. it's helping to tighten and tone that skin, bring more oxygen to the cells, to the surface. So that's awesome yeah. when we're pregnant and when we're not pregnant. I think that that is such a good one. And what's funny is I can truthfully say I wish I was so much better. I mean, my daughter ends up playing with my dry brush and then I have to wash it, which I do have to say, ladies, keep them clean. Have one that you can rinse and soap in the shower and then hang to dry because you do want to keep them clean. Yeah. Um, but the thing is, is that I tend to dry brush like two weeks before a photo shoot and then I back off. And then I two weeks before a photo shoot and then I back off. So what's funny is that it really does work that quickly if you're consistent with us. And any clients I have doing contestant prep uh, for competitions, um, you definitely want to dry brush, especially the backsides. And, you know, it's good just to do the whole body. And yeah. It makes you feel very invigorated. It really does. It, it wakes up the skin. And you know what? Just like you said, um, you have to be consistent. I mean, consistency really is the key, as we know, to just being successful everything. in everything we do. So maybe buy two dry skin brushes. Put one on your bathroom counter. Leave one on your night table. You know, make it so it's always there available. I even do it on my face. Mm -hmm. So I have a tiny one, and I have one on my night table, and I do it every night with for my face, my the neck area. Remember, ladies, I'm 47. I need, a, need, need to do these things. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. So yeah, I think I think those are great tips and I think they work during pregnancy to help prevent and after. And also remember, you know, a lot of it has to do with genetics as far as how your skin's going to bounce back, but there are absolutely things you can do. And talking about things you can do internally, um, I'd say the last pregnancy question that we can address today, um, and we can talk about a little bit of fitness stuff, is... Um, I got an email from a girl, I believe in Idaho, I'm sorry I don't remember your name, but I can definitely pull it up really quick. And she asked me what prenatals I was using during my pregnancy. I will be honest, I'm not the best with vitamins in general, pregnant or not. And really, our grandmas weren't taking prenatal vitamins, they didn't exist then, our parents are fine. <laughs> but um, 
the food chain has changed a lot since our grandparents. And so I did have a couple um, ones. I obviously do everything vegan. So mine is uh, Rainbow Light. It's just one a day. It is a horse pill that's really hard for me. And the best way to get it in is just to kind of take it with my smoothie. Um, but I've never been really consistent with supplementation as far as vitamin pills go. Mm -hmm. The best thing I have used during my pregnancy, and I have one of them here with me, is from Health Force. And I've used it way before my pregnancy. And then there are some other people that I know that have used it during pregnancy and just loved it. And that's the vitamin roll. Mm -hmm. greens which is like best powder of the year five years in a row or something like that but I've been taking that before pregnancy during pregnancy and I don't feel like I'm having to take a pill I just right. put it in my smoothie I've got my greens in you know on top of my fresh greens um, I think truthfully you should get your vitamins from your food first and foremost Laura how do you feel about that I, I totally agree you know f food is number one I, I think if you're going to take a supplement, supplement, you want to take the highest quality supplement you can get. So really think about if someone says, well, you know, my vitamins are only $5.99. I go, whoa, why are they only $5.99? Yeah. What's in them? What are they made out of? What's the quality? Because again, you're building your body with everything you put in it, all your cells. So always make sure it's the highest quality. And even if you're taking quality vitamins, I truly believe you don't need to take them every day. Maybe even every other day is fine. You know, if, if you're eating good food and you're, you know, taking in that nutrition, your green smoothies, vitamin mineral greens, right. you're, you're probably okay. And I do with my vitamin minerals. I always still add in spinach or kale. You know what I mean? I like that fresh yeah. component. I love strawberries and bananas and greens like out of the garden or at the store. Um, I have quite a few clients that have gardens. Sue, especially who I do my YouTube cooking show with, has a gorgeous organic garden. And she's always sending us back with greens from her garden. And that's so nice. And I throw, you know, I throw my protein powders in with that because... You know how it is just being so busy in fitness and as a yeah. mom and a wife. We do drink protein powder. So if you can have something that's like a vitamin or something that boosts you up that way, yeah. um, it's good to throw that in. But as far as just having the stack of pills, I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not yeah. and I'm not consistent with it, and truthfully. Most, most, most people aren't. I gotta tell you this. Oh, I have someone coming over this weekend and she's building me an organic garden. So I am so <sighs> excited so I'll definitely Jealous. be videoing and sharing that with everybody yeah and so you'll have excited. to talk to us about that in yeah. the next in the next time we see you so I just wanted to really quickly touch base on fitness for Laura I know that you've been having some back issues and I know that you're not the only person who struggles with that and so tell us what you've been doing to kind of keep your mind in check because I know when serious people who serious workout workoutaholics stop training their brain starts to go crazy so <laughs> what have you been doing for your mental health as well as your physical yeah. health to try and help your back uh, well I have been eating really really well because I am not losing this shape I work so hard for it but obviously with a fractured back I need to change up my exercising so I'm working around my injuries. I'm I'm working smart. Oops. Let me just. That's my husband. Um, <laughs> you know I'm. Do, I put him on the phone. Excuse me, everybody. Say hi, to Mr. London. <laughs> Hello, <you>. Mr. London. <laughs> uh, you know I'm. I'm just listening to my body and I know if I'm using some a weight that may be too heavy I put it down I'm doing a lot of compound movements but without weight so I'm using my muscles I'm getting cardio in but I'm not putting any stress on my lower back that's so, great I know that you recently um, signed up to do my online Pilates athletic yes. program yes, and I'm yes. so excited because I know that in that program, I give essential through advanced exercises, and so many people that I work with um, either have a shoulder or back or neck issue, even as athletes like yourself. Right. And so Pilates is so great for really taking the muscles that surround the spine and strengthening them to support the bone structure. Yes. And that's why Pilates is so great. And that's why we do Pilates meets the gym because we're such big believers in spine health right. and, and the joints and just range of motion. Because if you're this big bodybuilder and you can't extend your arm all the way, what good does that do? You have to have nice long muscles right. that 
that can move you through life outside of the gym. And so that's why Pilates is so good. That's right. That's why, again, the Pilates to strengthen all the muscles around the back to hold everything in place because what happens is things get out of whack, you know, out of um, alignment, and those muscles help to pull everything in. So keep yeah. on, keeping it all together. <laughs> That's great. And I think the last thing that I really want to touch base on as far as um, fitness from the inside out goes, because that's kind of today's topic is, you know, taking care of your skin outside of the gym and your um, internal internal um, part of your body is I know that you have a really good, you have really good tips on juicing. And did your program, tell us a little bit about your juicing program that you have out because I've had some questions about this recently because people know we work together. So I thought you could just answer it directly. Okay. Well, it's a seven day, I call it the seven day goddess juice feast. It's not about fasting. It's about feasting. It's about giving yourself abundance and nourishment giving your body a break from digesting so the body can detox. And it's also about kind of reaching inward, finding your inner goddess, you know, maybe you kind of lost her along the way. So it's really seven days of, of, of wellness and, in, and looking inward. And I also say, you know, you can do the Goddess Juice Feast for one day. Or right. seven days. There's no right or wrong. There are no juice fast police coming to your door <laughs> telling you you're doing it wrong. So that's the beauty. Even if you add one juice to your diet a week, that's more than nothing. And that's really right. what the book is. It's an easy read. It's fun. I wrote every word. I love it. Edit it. And it, it's, it's just something that's really, really great for everybody. I love that it's pressure free that you're not saying like you're not going to get any results if you don't do this for seven days, five juices made this way, press right. this way. And um, that doesn't make sense because anytime you take in those clean organic foods, you're you're literally changing the structure of your cells and your body. And so to get one in a day or to do it for a day straight or three days straight, I mean, I know for me personally, anytime I've done juicing, like just juicing, three days is my max and mm -hmm. then I start to just... Mm -hmm. not not want to do it anymore and so for me I know I'm better off eating high raw getting juicing in mm -hmm. when I can and maybe taking a day but I know you have great recipes and I had some clients ask me yeah. recently yeah they I get, also they I get, also have to just say really quickly yeah. that I have that broccoli behind you sitting in my baby crib right there <laughs> that's my social media team that's Bernadette broccoli and Katarina Carrot. I love it I have the strawberry and broccoli Aria's is the strawberry Lyra's is the broccoli so I love them <laughs> Well, Allison, they can find the uh, Seven Day Goddess Juice Feast at sevendaygoddessjuicefeast.com or on my website, lauralondonfitness.com. Um, yeah, and I'll place a link to that at Pilates Meets the Gym at today's your tomorrow .com also. Okay, so if they have any questions, I'm always, you can, I'm very, very reachable. Facebook, email, yes. so whatever. Yes, yeah. People know where to find Laura London if they need to. <laughs> <laughs> well, great, right. great catching up with you, and I just love that today. You know, as much as we love to talk about fitness and do all of that, it's important that outside the gym, you're still taking care of yourself, and so I think that that's what's so great about Pilates Meets the Gym. I do want to announce that in 2014, Laura and I will be getting together in the early part of the year to be filming quite a few just fitness Pilates Meets the Gym back-to-back -back for some workout videos, so I'm really excited about that. Fun. That's going to yeah. be really fun. We had a great time when we did it last time. And be ready, everybody, for a lot of fun and a lot of fitness. That's right. So you know what I say, you guys. If you want it tomorrow, start today. Today is your tomorrow. <laughs> All right, Allie B. All right, everyone. See you again for the next Pilates Meets the Gym. Remember, send us your questions because we love to hear from you. And you guys are amazing. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>